Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be showing you just a quick project that I had worked on at school. It's a graphics library. Um, it's very, very simple. It's a graphics library that I made that draws some 2D shapes and some 3D shapes to the screen. I've never really worked with basically anything 3D related before, so I had to learn some math and how to use some matrices and how to render, uh, basically calculate a 3D object and render it onto a 2D screen. Um, maybe you guys are familiar with that, maybe not. I actually followed some tutorials for uh, for some of it that I'll link in the description. Uh, it's from, I forgot the YouTuber's name, but it'll, it'll be in the description and it's possible you guys will recognize him as well. But uh, here I'll go and show off the project. It's using lib, the library X11. Um, X11, from what I can tell, it's kind of like the core graphics uh, library that uh, at least for Linux and probably a lot of Unix systems uh, use for drawing all their uh, basically drawing everything on here these are all built off of some sort of uh, X window systems so right here let me just clone the project and I'll copy this And like I said, it's very simple. So I'm just going to show off just what, what I made with it um, for my presentation. It's nothing super fancy at all, to be honest. But uh, here it is right here. Let me build it real quick. And here it is. I'll run it. And let's make that bigger. So it kind of flickers. But uh, I just thought it was really neat. I mean, I worked hard on it. It took me a little bit to get done. Uh, there's no keyboard controls. So in other words... I can't actually move around like within this 3D environment, the scene. Um, when I make the window bigger, it flickers more. But basically, you see it has some towers right here and there's a road. It's nothing is actually clipped together or anything. I don't know all the terms, but nothing's hooked together. So the as you can see, it as the buildings get further away, they kind of fall off the building, I mean, off of the, the streets basically. But uh, I just thought it was kind of neat. Uh, if you guys are interested in anything like this, I'll probably learning more about this and I can kind of show as I'm learning more about it as of right now I use the x11 library but I'm gonna to try to learn some more other libraries for uh, just a simpler way of doing 3d stuff because with the x11 it doesn't have any actual as far as I can tell there's nothing specific for 3d um, everything on here is just designed 2d but I know with like OpenGL and Vulkan which I've used a little bit they have some more implementation for that and but I guess there's DirectX but I mean I'm not on Windows here but uh I just thought I'd show this off. I have here. I can see if I can find an older version. I can show some some basic 2D stuff that I drew as well. And let me just see. This is it right here. Okay, I mean, yeah, I just have some shapes right here. Just some lines and some circles and ovals and squares and rectangles. I uh, just filled in. I just used that for some 2D basic stuff. Uh, the code's pretty simple, though. I mean, here, if I jump into the actual code itself, I can show it off. It's a... Uh, I had it several in different headers but at first, but then I ended up putting them all in the same header just so I can look at it better everything needs to be organized a lot more but here I'll show right here um, it has a lot of it has a lot of features in it uh, I think it kind of it has some math features it has some flag features so when you go ahead and create your window you can give it you know the size of your window you can give it the title of your window you can give it the background color and you can also tell if you want it to be resizable um, I was gonna have a scalable and a debug and a full screen option I'm still working on them so you can technically send that in as a flag, but it doesn't actually do anything. Plus, because they're integers like this, this hex, I guess, um, you can send them multiple flags together. You know, you can just say debug, and then you can put a uh, a bar. Um, you can put a, a pipe, and then you can put another flag. And then I have some colors. Uh, the colors here are integers as well, and I set up this class right here. It's uh, I was just kind of experimenting with stuff right here, but it's basically just for loading in all these unsigned longed 
uh, integers and you can give it RGB or you can take an RGB from it uh, that way you can do like shading and stuff like that um, and here's the window and the window is kind of just a it just puts together some of the the library X11 stuff I mean, it has a display, it has the window, it has a context, and then it just holds some of those attributes all together in one single thing. Uh, just make it a little bit easier. Then you can set the background, you can set the draw color. Uh, there's some stuff that I'm going to use for math later. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. If you guys are interested at all, go ahead and check it out. And I'll have the the guy that I followed the, for the tutorials. I mean, this my code is an exact copy of his code, but... That's where I learned it mostly from. So I'll have that in the description if you guys are interested in that at all. Um, go ahead and check it out. I just wanted to show you guys this quick video today because I've been a little busy, but I wanted to come out with a video. And I hope you guys are having a great day, and see you guys again next time. Bye.